Are you a fan of true wireless headphones with good music style? So better probably yes, those ones here, then I have the right ones. If you are an anime fan, then I have definitely the right ones for you here. The Final Audio EVA 2020 true wireless headphones styled after the very popular Neon Genesis Evangelion anime. So I want to unbox it right now, test it and tell you about my experience with these. So let's get started. So here's the box it comes with. As you can see here, it has a 01 as a unit name, basically uh, Evangelion uh, or EVA 01 unit. So there's also an EVA True Wireless 02 and 06 and others from the anime as well. It is styled in the same color, so you can see green and this uh, purple-like color. What we can see here is the uh, name, of course. We can see the synchroniz synchronicity uh, waves here. So those who know the anime know what I'm talking about. And we see the final audio logo here. So this really final audio's first true wireless um, headphones that they produce. Final Audio is a Japanese brand, very famous for producing cable in-ear headphones, for example. True wireless earphones, EVA 2020 version, designed by Final Bluetooth 5.0. So it's a bit of an older standard, but still good enough. Uh, when we take a look around the packaging, we see some, um, some stamps here, some in Japanese, FCC, and some others as well here. And in the, on the back we see, I think, the more interesting things, just for example, the specifications. We can see it is written in English and in Japanese. We can see the specifications, the name again, Bluetooth 5.0. It uh, incorporates Qualcomm QCC3020 chipset from 20 Hz to up to 20 kHz. SBC, AAC and Qualcomm's aptX Audio are supported. No aptX HD, but aptX Audio is supported here. A to DB uh, and the rest of the standards of Bluetooth are supported. Supported profiles, you can see. Continuous music playback is six hours via aptX and nine hours via SBC or AAC. And a maximum of 63 hours, including the case. So if you have the case, you can charge it multiple times and still have like, you can have like two flights uh, from here to New Zealand and back without issues, 63 hours, even more maybe. Uh, continuous airtime, which is, I think, the speaking time. So if you're on a phone call, it's about four hours and then standby time, 192 hours. And uh, battery charging time is two hours for the case, which uh, is uh, does not mean the, the air earbuds itself. I think the charging time will be shorter. We can see that the battery capacity is 50 milliampere hours for each single earphone and 950 milliampere hours for the case. So the case must be large if it has such a big, huge battery. Battery. We can see the manufacturer here is uh, Asnext or Dollarnext. No, it's Asnext Co. Limited in Japan, actually. So yeah, Evangelion 2020. Some stickers here, some serial numbers, and. Uh, there's the My Final app that we also will try out uh, with the QR code. You can uh, download this app, uh, which allows you to use and uh, configure this um, a little bit more. But we will check this out. First of all, let's open it up. Do we have anything else here? No. Uh, we have a little flap here, so I can just open it up like this. And then I come to see the uh, read before. <laughs> using this product instructions manual by Final Audio, as you can see, and it gives you a user manual and all the information about the earbuds, so the charging case, and the ear tips, and the USB Type-C cable, LED indicators, what button to press, and so on, and how you can connect to it very easily. And one important thing, this is why I opened it up already, is there is the voice guidance. And you can see they used the original dubber in, for the Japanese anime here to also speak the voice of the system when it's starting up. So when you start up the earbuds, it will speak in Japanese to you with the original authors here. You can, of course, switch this to English as well, but it is written here in... Um, yeah, in plain English or plain 
um, language, so not in Japanese, so you know what the commands it is speaking in Japanese is, uh, what, what, what is uh, meant, what, what is meant by this. So it's pretty easy, so I left in the Japanese. Also, I like the original voices very much and it gives some bit of originality to the earbuds, so I don't mind it. And it's something refreshing anyway, because you don't hear it uh, that often. But you can change it as well. And it's also written here how you can change the uh, language to English if you want to, but the English one is like pretty boring. And then uh, you have the same instructions in Japanese. Then here we see already the case in the EVA Unit 01 um, design with green and purple and black, as you can see here. Very, very cool indeed. And we have a USB Type-C plug here at the back. So you can just plug a USB Type-C cable in to charge it. And here I think are the light indicators. You don't see them, I think only when you charge them you see them. But here we have the headphones. Doesn't look awesome, Does it? it's really awesome. Like zero one again. And then the headphones, we have some CE stamp here with all the other things. So if you're from Europe, you can also order it here like I did. It is plasticky, fairly plastically. Lightweight for these uh, almost 1000 milliampere hours uh, battery that's inside here. But it's big, as you can see, a lot of space wasted. I think they could have put here some ear tips or something like this. Uh, by the way, where are the ear tips? Closing mechanism and opening feels solid. Ah, now we have, we saw for a second, split second, the, the LEDs. Ah, now we can see the LEDs. Ah, for a split second there, you can see the LEDs lighting up. So yeah, it has a lot of power still. And uh, let's put this aside. It feels solid. It is plasticky, but it feels solid and, and great build. Uh, it's not flapping it around. It doesn't have any, any creaks, noises or something like this. This is a solid build. Let's put this aside. Uh, put this aside as well and take a look what is inside of here. In this little green compartment, we will find probably some cable and ear tips. So let's open it up. Yeah, 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 exactly. Here we have the ear tips, some ear tips and some uh, type E ear tips. As you can see, here, some instructions for them as well. And we have some more. Now we have here the USB A to USB C cable. I will leave it probably in this packaging. I have enough cables of those. And there's another little um, paper here. Uh, in Japanese and you can see here the different units. So we have the uh, 01, 02 and 06 units here. So probably only those are supported. And this is another quick start guide how to use it in Japanese. Interesting. So this is a small, smaller guide if you ever lose it and need Google Translate or you can speak Japanese, you can just simply use this. So the ear tips uh, you get, um, what is it? You get probably some uh, ear tips in medium size, in large and small. Let's try to get them out here. Here we have those various different ear tips. So we have small, we have larger ear tips and those ear tips mm, look interesting. Let's take the large one, I can show it to you. So they have this interesting design here, as you can see here with this knobs, which gives it a little bit of more like, uh, yeah, it, it is more sturdy here and probably also has some influence on the sound. But what I used for testing, I already tested them, are the medium sized ear tips because they worked fine for me. Here's a little instruction booklet again in this uh, EVA style final audio ear tips and also gives you the size, also in Japanese here, but the size you can have super small, small, medium, large and super large or extra large. And you can see it is like this, for people who can speak Japanese, is an English version. Of, you can see here it is explaining the tube in the middle that I was showing as well and how to place it in the ear to get the best sound and uh, some other things like this. Also, this is also interesting that only usually final audio shows is the graph of how the sound is tuned 
which is also pretty nice here and it explains to you how to get the optimum in terms of sound so pretty nice indeed so this is what comes inside of the box and what we want to do now i did this already but for you i didn't uh, so <laughs> let's uh, do some testing in terms of how they really uh, sound like how i how i can connect those and uh, what the app on the back is about so let's check that out so let's talk a bit about the app because there was a qr code with the final app which is not really final so at least in the english language it's not available yet you can find a japanese version on the google play store the japanese one it's not installable for me and the same goes for the iOS version of uh, the app so you have true wireless headphones here that you can only use without any app but it's not really necessary to have an app that tweaks everything here because the sound out of the box on these headphones is really really great let's take a look at the headphones the individual headphones a little bit further so this is one of those earbuds for example as you can see here it has a really nice design in this evangelion colors you can see the green push button here that you can really press there's a small led here between the push button and the purple color that you cannot see right now if i put it into the case maybe you can see it glowing up a little bit you can see it shining through there so there's a small little LED that can shine in red and blue or white. And then this uh, earbud also has a microphone hole here. And this produces uh, okayish sound, but it's not the best. The rest of the earbud is, has a nice little design. As you can see here, here are the magnets and uh, charging pads. It has uh, left and right distinguish, distinguishes left and right without any issues and you have a nice little um, plug that goes into the ear the earbud here as you can see here i have the medium sized one that is working pretty nice when it comes to uh, plugging it in your ear and yeah let's give it a try i will tell you about the sound quality a little bit and how they fit in my ear connection wise the earbud is pretty good it has two modes to connect to so on my xperia one mark ii for example it uses aptx connection aptx tws connection so what we have here is that each earbud is connected separately via bluetooth and on my honor 50 for example it is using the master mode so it's only connecting to one earbud which functions as a master and holds the connection for the other earbud this also works for aptx but of course for spc and aac it only uses the master slave mode looking at the controls of the earbuds we have various different ones here in our booklet so we have playback controls we either press one of those keys left or right for stopping or for continuing playback so pause and playback next track is press and hold the right earbud until you hear a beep and then it goes to the next track and the previous track press and hold to the, the left button if you want to raise the audio because you have also audio control you can press twice on the left button and twice on the right button to uh, turn it down this is for playback controls if you want to do uh, voice calls you have press once for receiving the call press once again or put it into a charging case for en ending the call and refuse a call by pressing twice then you have also the google assistant option which is like pressing twice uh, only when the music is stopped so if you have the music stopped you can press twice to uh, get siri or the google assistant so these are the controls basically and you cannot change those controls because there's no app available let's talk a bit how to put them in because uh, you take them like this and then you put them in like this into your ear and if you reach your ear canal you start twisting until they fit like this so they are lying on this uh, little yeah basically on the upper part of the ear lip uh, here and you don't press them in too much because you get already a good ceiling like this without 
pushing them into the ear canal which <laughs> might hurt so you just put them in like this and then twist and seal you get a good sealing you don't have much of pressure which is pretty awesome because other devices like for example Lipertec TV I have to push in a bit deeper and I feel pressure then so the EVA 2020 true wireless headphones are a complete different leak when it comes to comfort wise they are even I think a bit better than those um, yeah, AirPods Pro or uh, Huawei FreeBuds Pro like with the stem that automatically also hang in the ear more um, don't feel any pressure of them at all and if I can just put them in and out and it feels like the ceiling is good already but they don't feel like heavy or pressuring or something so the build as well the plastic build helps there as well but uh, it's very comfort wise it's like almost perfect I'm astonished by this how good they can fit without creating this pressure and without creating any like um, fatigue on the ear itself which is awesome in this price range of course where yeah, it is a bit high the price range and we know already all in all this is a very good ear uh, true wireless earbud or true wireless headset system in general it's a bit pricey but if you take it for reference the Lipertec TV for example much better and my go-to headphones when it comes to good music listening but uh, the, I thought this is the pinnacle of sound that you can get with true wireless earphones in a good price range. These are now double the price of the Tevis, sometimes a bit more, even 1.2 times as much as a, a Tevis here. But they sound also better. The good thing about the Tevis was they didn't have the bass that was like bleeding into the mid uh, mids and making everything warmer. They had good highs, good mids and good bass, what I thought in the time. Because I didn't think that it's possible to have like really punchy bass and still preserve good mids and very good highs. With these here, these, you can. They have a very punchy bass, but the mid, it doesn't bleed into the mids and the highs are also very crisp and good, not too sharp or uh, you don't have like, like this uh, uh, harsh kind of tone when you're listening to, to voices, for example, or high frequencies. No, it is, it's almost, yeah, it's perfect. You can hear those little sounds and details into songs, in songs that you don't usually hear. The same as with those, but you get this punch, which those lack. The punch in the, in the bass line is, is lacking in the Tevis, but in the EVA 2020s you hear it and this w makes them so great and this makes them yeah, my go-to headphone when I have to listen to some music. The other thing is like these have good uh, battery life, the Tevis here, but these have even better battery life. It's a bit of a bigger case, of course, granted, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really that good. The sound quality is so amazing with those that I would say, yes, it's really worth it. And it's not only, the price is not only so high because of the anime-like uh, branding or something like this. No, it is because they are really, really, really good in terms of audio. If you have the right ceiling, it's like, wow. It's really, I'm amazed by them, I have to say. Listening and, yeah, also amazed by the battery life, I have to say but amazed by the audio quality, battery life and all the other features like having your separate app where you have AQs uh, where you can like uh, control stuff. It's not so important for me if I just stick them out, stick into my ear, listen to music, and have this good, nice feeling listening to songs that I heard years before and still hear a little bit of things that I didn't hear before with those here because they are so good in preserving the mids and the highs as well as keeping the punchy bass that you might want. And I really have to say, when I listened to them, I was like, oh, maybe I don't like punchy bass, but no, <laughs> listening to those, I like punchy bass. But I was not aware that you can create punchy bass without bleeding into the midst, bleeding into the midst without making it yeah, warmer, without making it, m making it more muddlier, muddier, if this is a word, I don't know. So without making it muddy, um, I was not aware of this and with those I'm really really impressed. I'm Call me impressed. The um, EVA 2020s are really really good 
true wireless headphones in terms of audio quality if you want to listen to music if you want to listen to songs these are pretty pretty good and awesome but what about the microphone and this is a downside where uh, this is a downside where why i would not recommend them for everyone why i would say stick to your earbuds for microphone quality still because they have better microphones definitely but you can listen for yourself a short little microphone test what you're hearing right now is the sound quality of the uh, final audio EVA 2020 true wireless earphones that I have now in my ears. You might see here, this is the left one, this is the right one. And uh, this is the sound quality that you can hear because uh, the app that I'm using here on my Honor 50, the camera app can record from Bluetooth audio. And this is the sound that you can expect in terms of microphone quality. Oh, granted, I'm in a park, so right now it's very, very, very quiet. And we have some rabbits. No, we have some bunnies running around here. So it is a very quiet, peaceful afternoon here. And uh, yeah, I can maybe show you the rabbits or bunnies running around. There you can see on the left. Yeah, ran away. It saw me and ran away. Anyway, this is the quality that you can expect in terms of audio from those microphones and. Uh, Tell me, how, what do you think about those microphones? Do they pick up my voice quite nicely? Are they filtering out any yeah, other noise that might be around here? Uh, just write it down in the comment section. What do you think about the microphones of the EVA 2020 uh, T, TWS from Final Audio? The only and the first one of uh, Final Audio. And uh, this is now an audio test how a microphone should sound. These are the best uh, wireless headphones and uh, microphones that I heard so far. The Huawei FreeBuds 4, they even outperform the in-ears laying into the in-ear canal FreeBuds Pro and also the AirPods in terms of sound quality from the microphone, at least for video recording and audio calls. So yeah, the EVA 2020 uh, TWS from Final Audio are very good in sound quality, but when it comes to microphone quality, you can make calls with them, but this is basically it and uh, don't expect too much in terms of microphone quality. It is just there. So what do you think about the EVA 2020 true wireless headphones? I think they're very good in music. They're very good in wearing even. They fit me nicely. If I put them in the ear, they look even nicely, as you can see here. And yeah, they work pretty awesome, have a great battery life. They are lacking ANC, so if you want to commute a lot and if you want to talk on the phone with the microphone, I would say mm, it's pretty good isolating already. So there's a kid crying in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it. If I have this on like this, just have the normal seal, I can barely hear myself and no, the kid, I don't hear crying anymore, even without anything playing. If I have something playing, it's it's perfectly fine and maybe they are not something for the airplane but I, uh, honestly I don't wear like such ear in ear headphones in uh, on the airplane I just have the over ear ones because they're way better also for sleeping it's like if you want to sleep with those no not so much because you're pushing them inside your ear canal and that might hurt a little bit and also distort the sound a little bit the way depending on the way how you push them in so in general, I'm very, very happy and would recommend them for, for music, but uh, not uh, anything else where um, normal, I would say, stem cell like uh, FreeBuds Pro or AirPods Pro or AirPods or FreeBuds are way better in especially also voice calls and so on. So this is also like an emergency for vo voice call because like you turn them off if <laughs> you get a voice call and uh, use your normal microphone. It's way better than this in. Uh, here I have to say but uh, audio quality for music is top notch and uh, you can write down in the comment section what do you think and which uh, true wireless headphones you have for great nice audio quality but also maybe microphone quality so something that you can use for everything because this is just for music clearly and uh, yeah write it down in the comment section my favorite would be probably the FreeBuds Pro 
uh, for this uh, kind of thing. Maybe the Freebuds 4, though I like this here to be have the better ceiling and a bit more bass as well. Freebuds 4 you can tweak a little bit, then if you have the tweak enabled then it's also fine, but uh, depending on how you wear it, it might like mm, not be perfect for everyone. So write down in the comment section what do you think. Otherwise, if you like this video, if you like independent content creation tests of true wireless headphones, of smartphones and other things, like, share and subscribe. So I get more subscribers, I get more opportunities to contact companies to send me stuff to test out so I can create more beautiful, good content for you. That is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.